Hi, my name is Sean Bouquet. I play the NS Design CR5, and we're going to restring this. Now, if you have the Wave or the NXT, it's pretty much the exact same with a slight difference about what goes on in the back. I've had all of them, and I played at a wedding, and I noticed my A string was unwinding. I replaced it real quick with another one, but I'm going to replace all of the strings. I'm pretty bad at replacing my electric strings. I just kind of let them go until they're you know, really gone, I should change them more often. So as far as what strings you need, any, really, if you have a four string, just get the regular four string set of violin strings. If you have five strings, there are sets that come in five, like Helicor, the NS Design electric violin strings that Didario makes, they're Helicor, they're the same ones. Sometimes I found they're like a dollar cheaper. Let's switch over to the instrument view and because the NS Design has this tuning mechanism, there's a limit to how far it can tune. And if you're using synthetic strings, synthetic chord strings, they're going to stretch out a lot more. And my D, G, and C are on all synthetic. So you can see those are stretched pretty far. So we'll talk about what you need to do with that. If you use metal chord strings, they're not going to stretch as much. So one thing I suggest is just using any strings you'd like, but Helicore work fairly well. When they came out, supposedly they were made specifically for electric instruments. I don't know the exact history of that. That's what I have heard and I've always been told, so I'm assuming it's true. But really, you can use any string on electrics, and a metal chord string works fine, especially if you have different pedals to really adjust your sound and EQ that in. So don't worry too much about that. When you restring in an acoustic violin, unless you're going to clean it out and really take care of it as you're stringing it, you just want to do one string at a time. You can do all five here or four here. I'm still just going to do one at a time because why not? And on the Wave, I believe it's just open back here. I believe the NXT might be as well, but I'm not sure. The CR has a battery inside of it, so you need to take off this and take out the battery. And we'll do the C string first. So we'll loosen this. If you do not just get the regular five string, you want to try to get a C string that is for a 14 inch viola that will fit the best. And you have to make sure it's loosened all the way for the string to come out. The way these work is the very first few turns clamps the string into place. And then after that, it starts to pull it tight. There's something we need to watch out for. It's not just as, well, it is just as simple as stringing it and tightening it. However, I've damaged two strings so far in my career because I wasn't paying attention. I'll show you what that is. First, you need to string through here or thread it through here. And I've found sometimes the hole into here through there is a little awkward. It's a little tight too. That one actually went through great. String it all the way through, push it down into there. Now one thing you can do also, I'll do this right now, you just put a little pencil letter right here, some graphite, it'll help it smooth along there without catching as much. That's not the right way to say it, but I think we get what I'm talking about. Okay, so now that's fairly tight. I'm going to pull it kind of as tight as I can. Here's what you want to watch out for. Here it looks fine. If we look really close right here, I don't even know if I can get a good light on it. There we go, that's probably the best. You can see through it. The clamp part of it is not completely across. So if your string is a little too much here or here, instead of getting actually clamped, it might just cut it a bit. And then after that, it's basically ruined. You can't do too much with it. Luckily, Dario, when that happened once, they replaced the string. They're really nice about it. But I'm going to pull this fairly tight. Make sure it's around that middle. And then I'm going to keep it here, I'm going to keep it against me so I can make sure that it's in the center right there. Now, it might be a little out of frame so I can look at this. Like I said, the initial part clamps and then it starts to pull. So by here it should be good. And I'll leave it like that. That's going to stretch out a little bit. If you're using synthetic strings, uh, what I mean by synthetic chord strings is something like a dominant or a 
vision string or pro arte, things like that, they're going to stretch out a lot. And besides stretching out, I find that they kind of do what I was talking about, the, the warning of make sure it's centered. They, they catch and just strip more easily because I think that string is stretchy. If you do use that, you have to really, really pull on it and pull it super, super, super tight. So they can work. I've used these for a couple years now, but just warning on that. Okay, let's go to G. And always save your strings, even if they're not in the greatest shape. I'm going to loosen it here so you can actually see me. Even if they're not in the greatest shape, they're good backups. So if you need something real quick, they're a good backup. Um, plus, you know, at least for an acoustic, I found if, let's say, your strings sound like they go bad and you take them off, at least as a replacement for a day or two, they seem to, to get a little bit nicer sounding for at least just a short minute. This would be a good time to clean the instrument. I haven't cleaned this in a while. I would love for NS Design to come up with a six string. That would be fantastic. I use a an octave pedal to play some lower notes, but it's always nice to have that six string. Thread this through here. Oh. Bring it down through the hole. Make sure it's centered. Make sure it's on the bridge. And then while looking at it, I'm going to tighten it just to make sure it stays in the center. I've rarely had that issue where it catches, but it's been twice in about 10 years, and I would rather just not worry about it at all. I guess I can look down here, too, and just look straight down. While I'm doing this, I'm also going to just straighten the bridge out. It tends to pull back a little bit. And you definitely want full contact on here. Yeah, there we go. And that's about it. I'm just going to go through the rest of the strings. I'm just going to fast forward through this. But if you have questions on strings or restringing, I have a video on restringing a regular violin as well. It's not difficult at all. I actually... I enjoy doing this. It's a little meditative. For a while I worked at a music store and some of the things were just rehearing bow after bow or restringing. And it was nice. But that's about it. Like I said, NS Design has a really cool mechanism for this. And it's really easy. Just watch out that it's in the center. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any music questions in general, there might be something that I could make a video on that I haven't even thought about that would benefit you and other people. So leave that in the comment section below if there's any questions you have. Or maybe a question that, if you're a teacher, that your students may have that you would like a video made for. Thank you again, and have a lovely day. Okay, actually two more quick notes. Uh, one has to do with this E-string protector that we have right here, that little plastic piece. And what that's for is kind of twofold. It protects the string from getting damaged by the bridge because it's just a thin wire. It's just, honestly, they take a steel spool and just cut it. Um, and it can sometimes fit through there. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. So what I suggest doing is take it off and string it through here. Besides protecting the string from the bridge, it protects the bridge from the string, from it kind of cutting into it. So I, ha I do know people who take it off and leave it off. I think that's, that's just going to cause some damaged strings and damaged bridge, bridges. So let's thread it back on here now. Like that. So you take it off and then put it right back on. So that's one tip. The next one I'll explain in just a second. There we go. Now you might be also recommended to, to not tighten it all the way, let the string settle a little bit. That's, that's good advice. That's kind of close.
Okay, so here's the other suggestion. We have all these strings now. And personally, if I knew these were all set, I might trim them. And there's two reasons for that. The first one is that I've had sometimes buzzing where I'll just tuck the strings under here, but then while I'm playing, I can hear them buzz. Another one, and I don't know if this ex is exactly what happened. I had once where the battery just kept draining super, super, super fast. Every time I have a battery, it just drained. And it seemed that one of the strings might have been touching the battery and constantly and, and draining it because of that circuitry. That's what I was told by the person that, that fixed the instrument or, or looked through it. So, like I said, I don't know exactly if that's the case, but that's what I was told with it. But I just want to make sure it's that the ends are away. Okay, and that's it. You are done. They might take a day or two to settle in, depending on the type of string. Might take longer, depending on the type of string. There we go. Nice new strings. So, that's it. Fairly simple. If you have any questions, let me know. Restring an electric or an acoustic. It's very simple. I have a video also on how to restring an acoustic. I'll put that in the description. If you have any questions on anything violin, viola, cello, even double bass related, let me know. There's a lot of things that you may have questions on that I would be happy to answer. I can either just answer in the comment section or make a whole video on it because you never know, maybe your question is something someone else is wondering too. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave any questions you have down below. Hit like and subscribe and there'll be more like this in the future.